Before buying a PC or laptop, there are several factors to consider just to guarantee that you get the best value for your money. Some of those key considerations are purpose, why do you need a PC for gaming, work or just casual use, processor to determine how fast the computer can perform tasks, do you prefer Intel or AMD, RAM to store data temporarily, storage, nowadays we have the SSDs, but we also have the HDDs, SSDs are faster and more reliable than HDDs, but they are also more expensive, if you need a lot of storage, an HDD might be a better choice, display, talk about screen size, resolution, color accuracy, battery life, the ports and connectivity options available on the PC, brand and support. Choose a good brand that has a good track record of producing quality PC and most importantly, price. Determine your budget and look for a PC that fit within that budget. I know, buying a PC can be an overwhelming task, but by considering the factors discussed above, you can ensure that you get a PC that meets your needs and is worth your money. Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel and for those who are returning, it's good to have you back. I'm Shababs and in this video we're going to unbox and review the Acer Nitro 50 model, a pre-built PC with a 12th gen i5 6 core processor and everything you need to run demanding games and programs. We'll check each and every one of its features, functions, resolution, installing accessories, etc. But most importantly, we'll try to answer the question, is it worth it? One more thing, to avoid a long and boring video, we've decided to divide this video. The links will be included in the description below. So, without further ado, let's get started. I don't really know what comes next, I'm just doing my best, even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I feel so depressed when I can't seem to get out. Included in the package we have keyboard, mouse, power cord, cables to connect your storage, bag with some stickers And here we have it, 
the new Acer Nitro 50. You won't need to ever worry about it slowing you down. This PC comes installed with 12th generation i5 with a 6 core processor, 8 gigs of RAM, expandable to 32 gigs, 512 gigs M.2 NVMe SSD to allow for faster load and boot up times with SSD storage. Unfortunately, no HDD, but that's not a problem. You can easily add that later. To also make sure that every game looks its best, this PC comes with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 graphic card with 4 gigs of GDDR5 video memory. You'll have room for games. Additionally, DTSX Ultra Audio and Wireless Wi-Fi 6. Now, going on with the general description of the CPU, there is a front airflow with this case allowing for a little bit of ventilation. Kind of reminds me of the Messenger robot. Still in front here, we've got USB 1 Type-C port, one USB 3.2 port, a microphone and headphone port, and then we've got a power button. At the rear, we've got two USB 3 ports, four USB 2 ports, an Ethernet port, you've got your audio jacks here, and then you've got a DVI and a HDMI port in the graphic card. Vents at the top, at the sides, and here below. Before we start using our pre-built PC, you should open it for security reason. We start by unscrewing the panel screws and popping off the side. we can make sure there isn't any additional packing foam still stuffed in there which is usually there to protect the components during shipping and also make sure all the cables are plugged in correctly which you would assume would already be done but you'd be surprised how many pre-builds have the connection loose or just flat out the power supply is a 50 watt the hard drive cages are also much more easily accessible as they come with a tray which you can remove mount your hdd and slide back as per storage you can add two additional hdds and or two additional ssds there is also one 8 gigs ram with another slot ready to install or upgrade from the 8 gigs to a 32 gigs also there is a wi-fi card installed so you don't have to buy extra cards or sticks so yeah i'm very interested to see how this new acer nitro 50 performs <music> Let's go ahead and place the side panel back on. Now we plug in our monitor display using the HDMI or DIV. Can't really miss anything as the only ports to connect to your monitor are in the graphics card and not in the motherboard. Plug in your mouse and keyboard into the USB ports and turn the power switch on. This PC came with a Windows operating system. In this case, we have a Windows 11. First, you'll be prompted to select your region or country, then click Yes. Select your keyboard layout or input method, then click yes. If you want to add a second keyboard layout, please select add layout, otherwise select skip. Select the network you want to connect to. Once connected, please click next. If you're using a Wi-Fi network, ensure that you're connected to the Wi-Fi with the strongest signal to avoid potential issues with system settings and update failures that might occur with a weak signal connection. I recommend you connect wired the first time. Your PC then checks for updates and will probably restart. Wait. 
it comes back on, then you review the license agreement, click accept to continue to the next step, enter your preferred device name, then click next. Your PC checks for updates again and will probably restart. Wait until it comes back on. Enter your Microsoft account and click next. If you don't have a Microsoft account yet, you're able to create a new one and then click create one. Enter your Microsoft account password then click sign in. Create a Windows Hello pin to give you fast and secure sign in. Click on create pin. Enter a pin you want to use then click OK. You might be prompted to restore your apps from an older PC setting if you have one. If not, just go to the next step. Choose the privacy settings you agree to let Microsoft access, then click Next, and then finally click Accept. You'll be prompted to customize your experience. Here, you are able to choose a way you plan to use your device to get personalized tips, ads, and recommendations with Microsoft experiences. Protect your device allows you to register with Acer, in this case, depending on your computer, to enjoy valued customer service or security service. Check the boxes if you agree to provide your information, then click Next. After above basic settings are completed, Windows 11 will start to install applications and preferred settings. Make sure the computer has enough battery power during the process. It will enter Windows 11 desktop after all setting procedures are completed. First thing we see is the PC came installed with Windows 11 Home Edition with quite some bloatware which you can remove if you want or just completely reinstall Windows and wipe all that garbage out. Or you can just go ahead and uninstall these programs that you don't want. Next, it's advisable to update when on a new computer. You go to settings and start the Windows updates here. All the security framework chips drivers are all going to automatically update through Windows. You might get some outdated graphic drivers getting updated too, but you can go ahead and manually reinstall them later. After that's all done, your PC will ask you to restart, which is completely fine. And that's all. Your PC is ready. The reality is a bunch of people buy pre-builds based on ease of use and availability. I actually bought this for multitasking but mostly for editing my YouTube videos, for making video calls on Skype, on Zoom, on all these platforms. In terms of the gaming performance, I can't really say for now but I will update that later. So if you ask me is this PC really worth it, definitely that's a yes. For those who are only interested in the unboxing, that's it for now. Hope this video has been helpful and has given you enough information or insight on the Acer Nitro 50. But if you're interested in knowing more about it, the settings, the what and the where, etc., you can click on the link below or click on the end screen to access the second part of this video. I appreciate your time here. If you have any tips or programs you might want to recommend or if you already have some experience you might want to share, go ahead and drop them down below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching and as always, catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.